See, now we are taking up the numericals based on Boyle's law. So, see, what do you have in this case? You have 103 ml of CO2 is collected. 103 ml means the volume is, volume is, um, V1 for CO2 is 103 ml, right? This you can see. Is collected at 27 degree Celsius. That means initially the temperature of gas is 27 degree Celsius. And the pressure is 763 mm of uh, mercury. Right? Now you have what will be the volume if the pressure is decreased. Now for the system you have decrease in pressure. So what will happen? He is asking what will be the new volume? That means V2 we need to find out. And if the pressure is decreased to 721 mm, so that means the new pressure is now decreased and it is 721 mm, but the temperature is same. So when you will be writing it, you will get to see it is the same temperature. So you will have an idea in mind that the same temperature and pressure and volume is getting, uh, and they are varying. So that means it is based on Boyle's law. So we have the, how we equate for the stay same gas when we change the pressure and volume as I told you when we were discussing it. So it is P1, V1 is equal to P2. V2. So just put the values. So pressure being 763, we can use the unit mm as I told you that the units can be used centimeter mm, tor, pascal, bar. So it, all units can be uh, used but keep in mind the unit which is used in the first case and the second case should be similar. right? So just put the values 763, V1 is 103. Again P2 is going to be 721 and V2 we have to find out. So V2 being V2 is equal to 763 into 103 divided by 721. So when you will calculate this expression, it is going to be calculated as 109 ml. So this is the new volume, How you, when the pressure is reduced or similarly if you increase the volume, you have to find the pressure. So this is how you can find by just using the expression P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. It is so simple to use. So just you need to rem uh, rec uh, this thing, uh, remember the relation which is used when the gas, for the case of gas at constant temperature and the, uh, for the fixed amount of gas that how the relation varies and how you can calculate the variables, uh, unknown variable when other variables are given. So similarly we are taking up the second numerical, look, at, look to it, a balloon is filled with hydrogen. We have a balloon which is filled with hydrogen, right, at room temperature. Room temperature is 273 Kelvin. You need to know that STP condition of pressure is one atmosphere. It is the standard condition of temperature and pressure and the temperature is 273 Kelvin. So that means we have a balloon filled with hydrogen at room temperature. It, it will burst, it will burst, it is given that it, it will burst if the pressure exceeds to this much. So that means the exceeded pressure should not exceed this much. So this is the P2 because that balloon is actually at room temperature means at room pressure and we know the room pressure is one atmosphere. So see it is not giving it, given in this question but by looking at this room temperature that means standard condition of temperature and pressure you have to use the value yourself. So just remember that at room STP condition the pressure is one atmosphere and the temperature being 273 Kelvin. Right. So, I have just written, so it can tolerate a pressure up to 0 0.2 bar. So, we have written this and uh, obviously it is at room uh, temperature and pressure. So, that means the pressure P1 is taken as 1 atmosphere. Now, we will see what else is written. If at 1 bar, so because now the pressure is already given. So, that means you do not need to use this 1 atmosphere. It is already given. So, use P1 as 1 bar. So, if at 1 bar, gas occupies the volume of 2.27 litre. So, this is the initial volume which the gas can occupy. And you have to find that till what volume the gas, the balloon can be expanded. Means, uh, the maximum volume it can expand, we have to calculate. So, just it is the, you can say the, the, the method of using the language. Otherwise, the, the quantities which we have to find is the same as we did in the previous one. Just you have to, the tricky, the trick which uh, they have used in the question is that they have not just written exactly that the new pressure is this or something like that. They have used the term that it can tolerate the maximum pressure of 
up to this so it you have to uh, concentrate that whether you have to take it as p1 or p2 it is just the method of language otherwise the question is same so we have just put the values units are same and uh, the, uh, also the temperature condition is room temperature so we know that it is based on boyle's law just put up the relation and just put the values 1 bar 2.27 0.2 bar v2 we have to calculate v2 is equal to 1.2.27 0.2 which comes out to be 11.35 liters so that means it is the new volume so this is how you are going to attempt numericals on the basis of Boyle's law I think you are clear with the Boyle's law Boyle's law is the relationship between volume and pressure at constant temperature and for a fixed amount of gas now we are starting with the other law that is the Charles law So Charles law is also a similarly it is a similarly a quantitative relationship between the quantities and by keeping the few quantities fixed. So we just have to look for it that which quantities are varying and which quantities are kept fixed. So just starting with the Charles law. Charles law was given by Charles as the name suggests as you all can easily make out the Charles law because every law is given behind the name of the scientist who gave that. So again it is a Charles law given by Charles. So what does it state? It is actually a relationship between volume and temperature keeping pressure constant and for fixed amount of gas. Right. So what does this law states? This law actually states that suppose uh, it states first I'll tell you the statement then I'll tell you mathematically then you'll get to know in a better way right so it states that um, you can say for at constant pressure for fixed amount of gas um, I repeat at constant temperature pressure for fixed amount of gas the volume of uh, this thing the gas increase or decrease by 1273 of its original volume at 0 degrees Celsius for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature. Now see I have told you this definition in a you can say in a fluent way and you I know that you, you have not got the definition so just I will make you understand mathematically so first we will do the mathematical relation then you will get to know that what I uh, like want to explain you exactly right. So I am taking an example suppose the original volume of the gas is V0 at 0 degree Celsius right now Charles say that uh, the uh, that means when the pressure is constant and the amount of gas is constant the volume of gas increase or decrease right when we change the temperature it has a direct effect on the volume. volume when the temperature is increased volume is increased when the temperature is decreased volume is decreased right so he says that the volume increase or decrease how much it increase or decrease by 1 to 73 of its original volume which it has at 0 degree celsius right for when when it uh, uh, when it rises by 1 to 73 of its original volume and when it decreases by 1 to 73 of its original volume when under what condition it happens when the temperature is increased or temperature is decreased for every 1 degree celsius rise or fall the or, uh, the new volume will be 1 to 73 of its original volume that means the original volume will increase or decrease how much by 1 to 73 of its original volume for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature so met again I am repeating you just look at the board suppose we have a gas whose volume is V0 when when the temperature is 0, 0 degree Celsius right when we are going to you have to keep in mind when temperature is increased volume gets simultaneously increased when temperature is decreased volume get simultaneously decreased but by how much amount so he says for every 1 degree the, uh, the original volume new volume will be 1 to 73 of its original volume it will get affected up to this much magnitude right so it states suppose now I am clubbing it to mathematical relation so the new volume which we will get will be equal to original volume right obviously it is going to be equal to the original volume and 
वन टू सेवेंटी थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी वन डिग्री राइज और फॉल इन टेम्परेचर राइट गॉट इट सी द न्यू वॉल्यूम इक्वल टू द ओरिजिनल वन प्लस वन टू सेवेंटी थ्री ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी वन डिग्री राइज और फॉल इन टेम्परेचर सो आई कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन एज बाई टेकिंग वी नॉट कॉमन आई कैन राइट वन प्लस दिस थिंग टी अपॉन टू सेवेंटी थ्री वी कैन राइट दिस वे आई हैव टेकन वी नॉट कॉमन ठीक है राइट सो दे अगेन आई कैन टेक इट आई कैन सिंप्लीफाई इट और आई कैन राइट इट इन अदर वे आई एम टेकिंग द एल सी एम ऑफ टू सेवेंटी थ्री सो इट कम्स आउट टू बी टू सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस टी सो इधर ऑफ इट वी कैन यूज बाई राइटिंग फॉर राइटिंग द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द चार्ल्स लॉ आई थिंक द स्टेटमेंट इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ सी आई एम रिपीटिंग द स्टेटमेंट जस्ट लुक एट द बोर्ड और लिसन टू मी केयरफुली चार्ल्स लॉ स्टेट्स फॉर एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर for fixed amount of gas the volume of gas increase or decrease right how much by 1 to 73 of its original volume at 0 degree celsius for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature right i think the statement is clear to you now because whenever uh, the, like if you'll say a statement directly nobody is uh, going to get the statement but when you'll explain it mathematically it will go into your mind and you'll understand it deeply that what actually this charles law wanted to explain right so we can use the mathematical terms like this now let us see that we are finding the uh, you can say for uh, different tempera at different temperature we are looking that how the volume new volume gets varied so suppose i am taking an example of 10 degree celsius so if the temperature is made to increase by 10 degree celsius so just putting the values in this equation what will be the new volume it is going to be v not plus v not upon 273 i am putting t as 10 so that means this much the new volume is going to be right so i take an example i uh, this thing i increase the temperature to say 25 degree celsius so just putting the values in the same expression it will become again putting t as 25 right so this much so now i am decreasing the temperature because this law is applicable when the temperature is increased or decreased so i am decreasing the temperature say i am taking to minus 10 degree celsius right so what will be the what will be the expression then vt v not again it will be v not 273 but minus 10 so that means i can write this expression as so this much so this much will be the new volume that means it will get decreased and by this much amount it is going to be decreased now i take an example of minus 273 degree celsius so if i put in this equation i get like this i can write it like this plus minus minus so this cancels out so that means volume is getting zero see it is an important point that the volume of the gas the new volume of the gas which you obtain by decreasing the temperature is uh, coming out to be zero so do you think that gas uh, can occupy zero volume do you think that gases can occupy zero volume can they have zero volume at in certain conditions so he just clarify this point by plotting the graph between v and t and just looking that the does the volume comes out to be zero or not so see when he plotted the graph between v and t and the gas is already had certain volume say at 0 degree celsius it uh, um, the volume occupied by the gas is this much and we know it increase or decrease by 1 to 73 of its original volume right so he just found that when the temperature is increased volume also increase in the same way now to clarify this that at minus 273 does the volume occupied by the gas comes out to be zero or not so what he did he extra plotted the graph he decreased the temperature and exploited the graph i'll draw a straight line like this see so he just extra plotted so let it be minus 273 degree celsius so when he just extra plotted the graph so we are i'm taking different markings okay you can take any marking 
like this so we are taking the marking simultaneously on the same uh, in the same way on this side also so what happens we get to see that this slope touch this line at 273 degrees celsius that means at this point the volume occupied by the gas comes out to be zero but you uh, it, it is surprised to know that before this temperature is received the gases liquefy before this temperature is achieved before minus 273 degrees celsius the gases liquefy nobody has seen the gas occupy occupying zero volume so this such minus 273 degrees celsius is called as the absolute scale of temperature called as kelvin scale which indicate that 0 degree celsius is equal to 273 kelvin so this the, from this term that means the absolute scale of temperature is kelvin scale if somebody is going to ask you what which is the absolute scale of temperature so straight away you are going to answer that it is a kelvin scale now somebody asks you like why it is called as the absolute scale of temperature so you'll say because the lowest possible temperature the lowest possible temperature that the gas can occupy is 273 Calvin. The maximum, the you can say uh, beyond it, the gases uh, cease to exist. That means they get liquefied, and the volume occupied by the gas comes out to be zero. So that is why the reason it is called as the absolute scale of temperature. Right now, coming to this relationship, now you already know that at constant pressure, for fixed amount of gas, volume increase or decrease by one two seventy three of its original volume for every one degree rise or fall in temperature. Mathematically, you know how to write it. I think it's clear how to write it and we have also taken up the uh, different examples by increasing the temperature and by lowering and you know that how to substitute into the formula and to get the result the resultant volume you know that and we also know that in minus 273 the volume comes out to be zero Charles explained by extra plotted the graph and we have a new term absolute scale of cal temperature that is the Kelvin scale also in hand so on the whole we concluded that volume is directly proportional to the temperature uh, the volume is increased the, and the, if the temperature is increased then the volume also get increased so that means by putting the constant we have the mathematical expression for the Charles law as V is equal to KT or we can write V upon T is equal to K so if we are taking into consideration the two uh, the, the gas with different volumes say V1 and V2 at different temperature T1 and T2 how you are going to relate them by V1 uh, upon T1 is equal to V2 upon T2 so this is the reason you are going to use it and moreover the graph which is obtained by plotting V versus T so I am starting with this point this point shows this one is minus 273 because it, we need to mention this point because this is the most important point that at which this slope this graph touch the temperature line indicating that the volume is almost zero otherwise the gases never occupy the zero volume so the graph obtained between volume and temperature at constant pressure is called as iso bar the graph obtained uh, by plotting V versus T at constant pressure is iso bar. And if I am plotting for the different gases, we get to see the same lines, but all are meeting at the same point 273 that indicates that all those all these gases indicate to have the zero volume at minus 273 degrees Celsius. So we have different pressures for it. Lower is the line, higher is the pressure. So in this case, P1 is greater than P2 is greater than P3 and P3 is greater than P4. So this is how you can draw an isobar. And moreover, now coming to the significance, what is the significance, what we come to know uh, after learning the Charles law. So it states that as the volume increase, density decrease. So that means hot air, see when we are increasing the temperature, volume is increasing. That means the hot air is having high temperature and uh, high volume, but the density is lower. That is why you know, we are able to, uh, you can say the hot air always rises up. So whenever we are sending the balloons filled with the hot hydrogen gas or there are certain kind of balloons which are sent into these uh, higher in the space for meteorological purposes. So they are rising up. The principle behind them is the Charles law.